Cornwall is well positioned to generate clean energy resources with deep waters and winds, facilitating the development of floating offshore wind and hot rocks enabling geothermal, as well as the skills and technology from existing marine and mining sectors. With pioneering and innovative people, Cornwall is intent on creating the clean energy resources to meet our own zero carbon targets and export our resources to help others meet theirs. We came across a problem in the storage and transportation of methane. Um, realised that we could use the methane, because it is a fuel, ultimately it's a global warming gas, but it is a fuel, um, to cool itself. Once you can transport it and store it safely at low pressure, you can make fuel tanks that fit onto any vehicle, use and you know replace diesel, petrol, propane. And you know the fact that we're we're, we're capturing a gas which is actually really polluting, turning it into a fuel, it gives us a negative carbon footprint. So Cornwall has some really incredible geology. We have granite under a lot of our feet, and this granite is naturally heat producing. And beyond this, it's also a lot of it is naturally fractured. And these fractures allow water to move through the rock. And it's this movement of water that allows us to harness the heat from great depth up at the surface. So our deepest well is about 5.2 kilometers deep. And it's from this that we will be uh, harnessing the deep water and we're bringing it to the surface at about 180 degrees. Um, at this temperature, we're able to produce electricity. This is the first phase of a two-phase project. So at the moment, we're just drilling one well, four and a half kilometres down, to see what's there, see how hot it is, and see whether we can get permeability and some water. Then the second phase, assuming that goes well, will be to drill a second well and set up a circulation between them. And once we've done that, the whole of the Eden project will be better than carbon neutral and that we'll be supplying enough electricity for about 7,000 houses. Cornwall's almost a perfect location for floating offshore wind. Uh, we've got the depth of water offshore, which is one of the only two locations in the country where you can do that. The opportunities, if we're successful, are huge. Our aim is to get three gigawatts of floating offshore wind installed by 2030, and that would require 10 billion pounds of inward investment uh, and would create at least 3,500 jobs. It would also position us perfectly to be a world leader in floating offshore wind and export around the world. So for us it means a large body of work, um, working to design the first systems and to industrialise uh, floating offshore wind, which really is a new application of some very much tried and tested technologies, especially in the Cornish waters.